Starting with clean audio and a low noise floor can be the difference between a good take and a headache in post. Learning how to get the lowest noise floor from your gear can not only improve your audio quality, but will result in a higher quality final product. Now, noise floor and background noise are terms that are almost used interchangeably, but they're actually very different. The noise floor of a device or system is the amount of noise generated by the device itself with no signal present measured in decibels. This includes preamp noise, RF interference, the self noise of microphones and other equipment. This differs from background noise that is generated by the environment, but the equipment itself. While it may seem like a small distinction, it's an important fact to understand. A high noise floor or self noise can indicate low quality gear, improper gain staging, or even a ground loop. For example, using the built-in recorder of a camera is generally a bad idea. This is used mostly for reference when recording video and should not be used in final production except in emergencies. I use a Tascam recorder and then a Sennheiser MKE 600. The only complaint I have about my Tascam is the preamps are a little noisy when you're using the inbuilt phantom power. Luckily, my Sennheiser is self-powered with a single AA, so I actually reduce the self-noise of my system when I self power the microphone and disable phantom power on my preamp. So for me, I actually lose about seven or eight decibels of self noise when I self power my microphone and remove phantom power on my preamp. Compare that to the preamp on my Sony a7S and there's about a 15 to 18 decibel difference between the self noise of the recorder and the self noise of the camera. When it comes to your audio recorder, the noise floor is limited by the audio bit depth. For instance, 16 bits will get you a minimum noise floor of negative 96 decibels, whereas 24 bits will get you to negative 144 decibels and so on. Each bit is the equivalent to six decibels of dynamic range, which means it can't be quieter than that due to the dynamic range limitation of the bit depth. While it can be difficult to differentiate background noise from the noise floor of your equipment, a good way to determine your equipment's noise floor is to record audio in a completely silent room at your normal recording settings, taking care to listen for any background noise that could contaminate your recording. Then take this audio and open your favorite audio editor and just listen. For me, that's Adobe Audition and you can watch the audio using the stereo audio level monitor. Noise floor is really tricky because you never really get rid of it completely, but using correct equipment in the proper settings will allow you to record clean audio and prevent you from having to boost noisy audio in post and and thus needing noise reduction processing. Keeping this in mind, a good level to shoot for is negative 65 decibels or lower, but often that's extremely difficult to achieve without the use of noise reduction processing. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing.